Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel, Authentic Beauty. In this video, I am going to go over some spiritual tools that you can use to raise your vibration and manifest your dreams. The first affirmation that you can use to raise your vibration is meditation. And meditation is basically relaxing your mind while you are awake. And what I like to do is maybe I like to look at large bodies of water so if I go to um, the beach or to a lake I can just stare off in the water and I like to watch the waves and before I know it I'm not thinking about anything and I also like to watch the birds in the trees so what you're going to do is simply relax your mind and one of the things about meditation for me is that when I am very let's say if I'm upset or if I'm angry or even super happy meditation is not a tool I can use because for some reason I have to do it as soon as I wake up or before I'm too sleepy before I go to bed but it's it's really a perfect tool for re relaxing your mind helping to align your energy with whatever it is you want in life so meditation is one tool another tool that you can use are affirmations oh my god now affirmations really work for me my favorite affirmation is I am that I am I am that I am like when I say that I just feel like I just become in alignment with the goddess inside of me is very powerful but affirmations typically the rules are you should say everything in um, present tense like for example you should say I am wealthy or I have you know I'm in a loving relationship with someone who adore me so um, yeah so affirmations are another tool you can use you if you look online you'll find uh, there are some really good affirmations I suggest that you tweak them so that they fit your personality and style but I do find that they work and I usually like to do them after I meditate like after I quiet my mind and then I have some things that you know I'll say to myself but well, another thing I have done with my meditations that I wrote out for myself is I'll add them to some classical music or what I think is it classical yeah classical music and I'll use my own voice and I actually have it on my cell phone and sometimes when I can't sleep I can hear myself going over my affirmations with my classic classic music and um, it's really just a, a powerful combo another tool you can use is music now be careful with music for me does not raise my vibration but it amplifies whatever frequency I'm already resonating at so if I'm in a really really funky mood I don't want to hear you know this soft nice gentle music it just um, I'm, I want to hear something that feels the way I feel. If I'm sad, I want sad music. If I'm happy, I want happy music. Um, there are some music, there's a, a lot of music online. They're called um, binaural beats and I have used them before and basically they have them for weight loss, for confidence, for changing your eye color, for being creative, for money. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I mean a whole, there's just a ton. There's one for good luck. Um, I love listening to the binaural beats. You have to be very careful with some of the the um, the companies or the people that make them. There was I was listening to one binaural beat, and I think it was oh, it was to raise my vibration. And after I listened to it, I for some reason I, w I heard um, music from the. 40s or 50s like Christmas music and it was like and I was seeing I'm not kidding I was seeing a family like a, um, a, a white family singing around the Christmas tree and I, it was almost it was so clear and I said okay let me let me just kind of like leave this alone you know so you got to be very careful with the binaural beats because they do work and listen I, wait for some people. I don't want to go out here t 
telling people what to do. I don't believe in that. I'm just giving you some tools you can use. I'm telling you there's a lot of music or binaural beats or whatever people call them that are online. I have used them myself and they do work for me. They work for me and be careful with it. So another tool you can use are candles. Now I love candles. Candles work really, really well for me. Um, I have to like, there are candles for good health. There, there are candles for prosperity. There are candles for love. And I always tell people to be careful. Like, even though I'm telling you about affirmations and meditation and music and all these different things that you can use to raise your vibration and manifest your dreams. You know, I just want you to think about them a little bit because I actually, I'm just going to tell, uh, go back to music real quick. I was listening to one because they have some binaural beats for weight loss and for having like a flat stomach. I mean, just everything you can imagine. And I was, I was listening to the music and you did. And honestly, I am not kidding. I start, I really started to lose weight and I don't know, like it just, no exercise, not eating differently, just weight, just like I could just feel it dropping off of me. And I was meditating and my spirit said to me to be very careful with the weight loss because a lot of times when people want to lose weight and they want to lose it fast and they want to lose it without diet and exercise that sometimes you can manifest like a, a, a illness like sometimes like I remember I had this one friend who just wanted to fit back into her high school jeans and she was doing some work for weight loss and she lost weight she she well she I don't want to say she acquired cancer but she ended up having cancer and she lost a ton of weight and she was able to wear her jeans from high school which made her so happy which were they were like so she went from like a size 16 to a size 2 and she was super happy about it and even though she ended up with this um cancer that would affect her for the rest of her life she couldn't see the connection and i don't know but my spirit told me to not do it and i just stopped because that's one of the things that meditation does for me it, it aligns me with my, to me with what is for my highest good so whatever you whatever tools that you use make sure you're aligning yourself not candles they have protection candles there's health there's creativity inspiration um, legal issues everything you can just about imagine they have a candle for it and the company where I buy my candles from they work they always work for me they have never failed me um, I'm just going to tell you just a, a thing about, you know, they have prosperity, they have abundance and they have money. And um, the thing I have learned about some of the tools that I'm sharing with you is that you can use these tools all day long. But if you are not in alignment with your divine purpose or what it is that you should be doing, you it still it still isn't. Um, you'll still find that you have a lot of obstacles and problems. So I think now that if I had the wisdom that I have now, that I, back then, I would have been asking for more wisdom and knowledge and, you know, and guidance from my higher self as opposed to money. So they have some, um, some, some places and I'm going to do a video, a separate video just about those candles and about everything I'm going over individually. But anyway, um, so I bought some prosperity candles and money was coming to me big time. Like people were just like, I, I remember I, I, I'm just being honest, I applied for a loan and instead of them giving me $2,000, they gave me $20,000. So I had $20,000 to market a, a magazine, to try to have a, I was trying to have like a talent show so that people would like read my book and decide which Jungle Beauty Goddess doll they wanted to be. Anyway, 
I poured all this money into this show, to this magazine. The magazine, when I say flop, it just means that I put the magazine out, I, you know, but people weren't buying ads because some people said the material was too risque. It was just a disaster. Did I get money? Absolutely. Um, you can get money. So if you, let's say you want money to get your car fixed. That's very specific, right? Or let's just say you want money for a house. I think that's specific. But I'm just trying to say, look, sometimes if you want money, it's not is not going to make the idea correct like when you ask or when you manifest or create or I don't know conjure up and use these tools and let's just say you get the money well it's not going to make a bad idea a good idea you know what I'm saying or it's not going to if you're looking for love um, I have found a lot of people they do they use some of these tools like the um, you know for relationships and they get people who are just really not good for them and I don't know if it's really like are you doing the passion are you looking for love so I would say I would tell anybody before you look for a relationship especially if that's the area where you have a lot of problems maybe you should work on self-love look first because self-love is a frequency that pulls everything to you or sometimes you have to look for doing something that you love but anyway so it candles incense is another tool that you can use that will help raise your vibration for some reason incense is one of those things that really works for me and it taps me into um, another room like for example when I burn incense like even when I even now I'm seriously I'm just thinking about it I can feel the pre the the presence of the angelic room I can feel like my ancestors like for some reason I don't know what it this is just my personal experience I, I feel like when I use incense that it connects me to the spiritual realm and it's really they have incense again for prosperity for love for inspiration for protection I could go on forever and ever but you need to figure out which tool tools can work for you but incense is really good and there are some really good companies out there another tool that I use a lot are crystals and gemstones crystals gemstones work for me really really well you will probably never catch me without something like I carry them on my body in my bra um, ton like it weighs me down it looks I, I don't even care if I look deformed I wear them around my neck um, I have my little um, tree of life earrings um, I love crystals crystals and gemstones are part of the mineral with the mineral kingdom I think because I am a Capricorn I'm an earth sign and they are from the earth I just think it just it's a good combo for me now the, what's interesting is that I it took me a long time to learn water is one of the things that just just for some reason does not work for me water like real water like you know even I love water I like looking at water but when I put water up in my house or if I try to use water just water I just I don't know what it is I just think water and earth creates mud for me personally and it just doesn't seem to be the best tool for me um, but anyway so we have candles and incense and then um, crystals and gemstones I think I've mentioned those before they again you can use those for a variety of like for just a lot of different things like um, inspiration for uh, for anxiety depression you name it you can find a gemstone for it I'll go over some gemstones individually in another video but for this video I just want to go over some tools um, another tool that you can use are essential oils I love essential oils um, some things I wouldn't buy cheap so but there are some oils there is um, an abundance like peppermint um, and I think peppermint um, 
you can get that anywhere like you but some of the oils like patchouli you might want to go to um, like Whole Foods or to order them online but it's but I guess let me just say this I don't like cheap essential oils if you're going to use essential oils I would suggest using a company that is reputable and when I go over some of the essential oils I will definitely um, leave a link and tell you about the different properties and some of the well metaphysical properties of different essential oils colors are another tool colors oh my god colors work for me guys so colors um, correlate with the chakras and I know that um, when I wear like if if you see me at any major event in the last probably 10 years I probably had on a red dress red is my power color when I wear red I just feel like my confidence is just you know every I'm just full of myself when I wear red um, I know that when I was going through a stage when I was tr this is true like I was trying to figure out how to make fingers for my dolls because I, I didn't understand how to all the things that I've learned I didn't know and I had books but it just did not make sense to me because books usually help you acquire knowledge or or enhance knowledge where you already have some basic understanding of the concept so um, I couldn't figure out how to make doll fingers so I started wearing orange orange uh, correlates with the sacral chakra which is the second chakra which is the seat of our creativity so I started wearing orange almost every day I made myself a ton of orange dresses I wore orange panties everything was orange and I wore and when I would write I would wear like um, the teal around my neck um, or a sky blue for my throat chakra but it for creativity and I, I'm, I'm not kidding it really works so sometimes I have a dress that I made it has all of the chakra colors it is hideous but I call it my thing thing dress my you know it's when I wear my my inspirational creativity dress it's it's really ugly but I wear it and it has paint and hot glue and everything all over it so colors are another tool that you can use when you are trying to raise your vibration and uh, manifest. And um, now um, I am going to go over some of the ways you can apply these tools. So I just want to go over them again. So here are some tools that you can use to raise your vibration or to, to help you manifest your dreams. So we um, affirmations music candles crystals and gemstones oh I don't know if I mentioned herbs and spices <gasps> so glad I said this herbs and spices really work as well that's another tool that you can use and usually when I make my manifesting dolls I call them my my crystal healing manifestation dolls basically what I would do is um, take some crystals and I would take gemstone I'm sorry same thing <laughs> and I would put herbs and then I would usually I would put like an essential oil on it and um, so like rosemary allspice cinnamon cloves ginger I mean I could go on but the herbs all carry a certain energy and a certain frequency and they all have different uses and I remember when I was a child my mother would you know just like you know I don't know if you in your family like during the new year my mother would say okay we gotta have collard greens because collard greens represent money or black eyed peas you know all of these little things so um like for example I know that um, allspice cinnamon is like the money herb okay spice rather sorry and um, I think mint can be used for um, for money as well but sometimes I'll make myself a prosperity bowl of oatmeal and I'll put like walnuts and allspice cinnamon clothes and I'll just have like 
say like a little you know just something really fun like I am a mighty mighty money magnet and I'll eat my oatmeal and that's like my magical oatmeal and I'm telling you like I'll go to the store everything's on sale um, somebody in line just gave me a coupon um, it's like the person you know I go to open my bag of food and there's like extra food I, it's I know this is may not sound like a big deal but imagine if you did that every single day of course I don't do it every day but whenever I eat my prosperity oatmeal maybe I'll even do a little uh, video on how I make my little prosperity oatmeal and I make prosperity coffee too and it really works for me so um, I think that's all of them so let's try this again we have affirmations music candles incense crystals and gemstones herbs and spices essential oils colors and these are all tools that you can use for your toolbox your spiritual toolbox to help raise your vibration and manifest your dreams so always be careful what you ask for because it just might come true thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video